All right, so we're going to go through a couple examples from today's lesson. Uh, example three, find the first and third quartile, as well as IQR. So I went ahead and one by one listed them in order, because that's what we're going to need to do to find our different quartiles. So the easiest thing to do, our value of 59 is our low value, our value of 73 is our fourth quartile. Okay, so if we are going to find the first, second, and third quartile, we'll start with the second quartile because that is also our median. So since we have 10 values here, we're going to have to find the middle, which in this case is our fifth and sixth values. Okay, so in order for us to find the true Q2, uh, we would have to add them up and divide it by 2, which is kind of a waste of time here because it's the same value. But in another example, if there's two values for your middle, and this will happen anytime you have an even uh, number of entries, there's going to be two values, uh, you just find the average of the two. So this would be Q2. And we can kind of see this kind of coming together visually. There's three to the left, there's three to the right, and it's going to be easy from here to identify Q1 and Q3. Our interquartile range is going to be the difference between Q3 and Q1. So if we have 71 minus 64, our IQ, our is going to be 7. Okay, so for our second example, uh, Don got a 68, the other students got all of these grades, find his percentile and percentile rank. Okay, so with a percentile, you're finding the percent of the set that are below a certain value. So if we're looking at Don, his 68, uh, we're going to find the percentile by taking our percentile formula, and now we gotta find how many values are lower than 68. So I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So we're gonna have 11, we're lower. How many 68s are in there? I think I see one here, just the one. So there's going to be one that was equal, and then how many in total? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So our percentile is going to be 100 times 11.5 over 20. Let's see, 11.5 over 20. What's that? 11.11 11 is going to be 65, 67.5? All right, I'm going to have to double check that. Okay, whenever we get a percentile, it needs to be a whole number, and we always round down. So we can say Don is in the... 67th percentile. Okay, so 67% are below his grade. Okay, we never round up. Even if this was 67.9, can't do it. Always round down. Okay, uh, the percentile rank. So for our rank, it's going to be our percentile, which is 67 over 100. Uh, the number of entries here is 20 plus 1. Okay, so now 67 out of 100 times 21. I'm going to need my calculator for this one. And that's going to get us 14.07. So he is Don's the 
14th uh, rank in this set of data. Okay, so if we ordered them out, he should be the 14th one. So let's see here. Let's see if we can count 14 being below. So we have one, two, actually. Okay. All right, in example four, we're trying to find the percentile and the percentile rank for this set of data. So Don got 68. Here's the marks for everyone else in the class. Find his percentile and percentile rank. Okay, so for his percentile, we need to know how many entries are lower than 68 in this data set. So if you go through and count these up, I think that works out to 11. We've got one entry here that is equal to 68. So we're going to have 0 0.5 times 1. And we've got a total of 20 entries, including Don. So if we calculate this all out, take a second to enter it all in. I think this works out to 57.5. Okay, so if we get a 57.5 or any decimal answer for our percentile, we always round down. If this said 57.9, we're still rounding down. So we can say Don is in the 57th percentile. And the reason we round down is that no matter what it is here, we want to say with 100% certainty how much is below or what percent is below him. So if we ever round up, it's not a true statement, so that's why you always, always round down. For the rank, we're going to take his percentile, and yes, the rounded value, and our sample size here was 20. So we've got R is equal to 57 over 100 times 21. Grab my calculator here. And this is going to be 11.97. So, like the percentile, we're going to round down. Okay, and just to tie this all together, Don has 11 entries below him in this set. Okay, so we round down, and from this set, it's not really related to the first one. We can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 are below him. So that would be our percentile rank. All right.